Hey, it's Nick Artigo here. I'm going to show you how to use a kettlebell to facilitate the movement that we like to call the hip hinge. So the hip hinge movement is when you pick up something from the floor or just bend over and you do so primarily by bending the hips and not by bending the spine. So this is the hip hinge and this is spinal flexion. So when we're picking up something heavy or doing kettlebell swings, high resistance type training. We try to keep the spine in neutral position or close to it. And a lot of times, many people have either hamstring or hip tightness or just a lack of practice with the skill of hip hinging and have trouble with that movement. This is a way that I've found to improve that movement using a kettlebell not as resistance for the movement but as assistance so you hold the kettlebell behind your hips like this that effectively pulls the shoulders back and then slight bend in the knees what you want to do is bow forward without bending the spine so I'm keeping my chest up the kettlebell behind the back pulling the shoulders back it makes it a lot harder I actually have to try to do it wrong. I have to try really hard. It actually is giving me resistance to doing it wrong. It's giving me assistance to doing it properly. This can be a good way to drill and practice the hip hinge movement pattern. Start with a light one, but you may find that a heavier one helps you more. So it's one of those cases where the weight is actually assisting you and not necessarily resistance. So a little heavier may help pull your shoulders back more and make you do it more effectively, more easily as well. If you have uh, any questions, leave a comment below. If you want more content that's not available on the blog or the regular YouTube channel, then click the link that's connected to this video. You'll have a chance to sign up for the Run Better Now VIP Club. Thank you.